Yeah, let's see what we've got today. Let's attack the palm. Let's push through the centre. Let's get some warm up matches in. We might go in on a late night arena. Let's take. Let's develop the bishop. Not very often you see the queen coming there. Let's um castle. Let's attack the bishop. Up the knight. Get the queen. Get the bishop. This should be a little bit funky for them. Should be. Move the queen here. Thinking. Let's just hit the bishop. Hit the bishop again. Hit the knight. It's got to be taken. No, not taken. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit funky for them, I think. Personally speaking, let's get the knight up. Rook's coming protecting the glorious square that I was going to, but it's still going to be a little bit funky for them, I believe. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. And again. And again. Why really it's taking that long? Because just going back there is um, pretty safe. Yeah, I don't have anything to attack really. I could come here. Um, we could hit the bishop. I think that's what they were panicking about, isn't it? So bishop can't go anywhere. Said it was a little bit strange and funky for them. They're attacking our knight at the minute. We can make it a little bit easier for us. Excuse me, get the rook across. Facing the queen. Not got a check on us is attacking our rook, so we'll hit the queen. He may just still go more to set. Is on our queen. Yeah, more to set, like we said. Still on his queen. Takes a palm. As we said, this was going to be always going to be a bit strange for them, so we're going to just lean on him again. I'm going to take the pawn here with the check on the king. Let's move the king out of the way. Their seconds are running down now, so I don't think we need to really lose any sleep over the position. Position's fairly okay for us. And I think I'm happy it's attacking the queen again. Making more space towards the king. Going to attack the queen. It's got a check on, and the knight can always come back here. We've only got three seconds, unless we do something egregiously bad. Let's attack the queen. They'll be thinking, oh, yeah, okay, nice one. Very strange opening.
They've got a lot of movements for their queen, putting lots of pressure on their queen, the higher piece, and then obviously getting their bishop trapped caught gave us a bit of a better position. Not saying we played it the best, but that's what actually happened. Bit of 3 0. Let's, um, let's block the queen. I was going to go for the exchange, but let's try something different. You're going for some sort of fried with the bishop? I don't think they are, are they? No. Can't be possible. How to do this? Let's just hit the bishop. Don't really know what it's doing there. Let's. Oh, can't move that. Let's just go here. Got double protection with the knight and the rook. Might as well hit this pawn. See all the targets that they're looking for, maybe the queen coming here, that type of stuff. Don't really like this sort of position with the pawn being there, but if we do open up, his queen just comes eventually here, but the pawn's protecting at the minute. Anything else that we want to be interested in doing? Could push here, I think the bishop's just going to take though, because he wants the queen to get in there. Options and choices, let's take. King looks home alone, but it's not. Let's push here. We're going to start gravitating towards protecting and serving. There. We've got the rook that can challenge. Queen's going to come quickly somewhere, try to get in. Let's go here with the rook. It's all defense nanny, but all they're focused on is the king area, which is the answer to chess process, isn't it? Go here. Now it's got a little bit of swing ability. Let's go and put a check on the king. Let's attack their queen. Bishop supporting the pawn at the minute can push up to x-ray. Queen looks kind of trapped to me, but um, they might find something. So if it goes here, it gets taken. It goes here, it gets taken. It can't go here. It goes there, the pawn takes it. They'll be looking to attack our queen somehow or get some mate on us um, to win a tempo. A check, sorry. I can't see any checks really, because all his pieces are jammed in because the queen's been doing all the work. They've moved the bishop back, they've tried to squish the king but not work the pieces together as best possible. So they may have had something but it, the move order maybe was slightly wrong. It looks like they're leaving the game. We'll take a look at that one just to see because it felt meaty but we felt that we could kind of defend it and block it off let's see if it was really that bad so we bring the knight up move the king out of the way and yeah it doesn't like that pawn push okay so yeah it does have some sort of momentum as we said, it's probably a move order thing that they did wrong. Yeah, so it's saying bishop g5. Is that like a wrong move? Bishop g5. Okay, so it looks like it's giving up a bishop or a better position. Okay, computer move. All right. But they didn't do the computer move, did a more humanized thing. And then we brought the knight down. Look at that. Mate in four. They had something. H takes g7 with a check, which is what they do. So it's a move order thing, isn't it? And we take, and we're thinking we're going to be okay here. Didn't think it was going to be that bad for the trade of the rooks, and we're going to improve our position. This is mating three. 
Queen H5. Oh. How is that still good? Wow, Queen H5. We did mention about them eventually getting the Queens across here, but at this point I'm thinking, oh, hold on. I'm thinking, well, there's not too much, but Queen H5. And what we were planning to do was come here, but obviously that's wrong because the Queen can come here with the Bishop support. But there's not a right lot to do really, is there? This is saying F5. Trying to give the king some space. Oh, mating two. Look at that. Crikey. This is why we're doing the evaluation. We felt that we did okay defending, but <coughs> we obviously smelt a rat somewhere and they were they were out and out winning there. Interesting times. Got to be not so blasé about these types of um, openings when they're coming mashing your king area. Got to be a little bit tighter. Definitely. So at that point then we're, we're in and squishing their queen. Strange how chess turns around, doesn't it? The ups and downs of chess. Okay, 3 no. See if we can pick up on any learnings that we've done over the past few games. Just um, go check on the king. Here to pawn. The whole reason behind baiting pawns is if they do go for the bait, it usually ends up the pawn actually blocks like um, a piece that would normally kind of want to go to that space. And plus it over, it starts extending the pawns if they do come down. And they're kind of doing something they don't really want to do. And the more they extend the pawns in the early part of the game, I believe it's it's better for us. Because we're kind of making them do something they don't want to do. The pawn structure is not how they really wanted to start the game. So that's the genuine reason behind doing baiting the pawn type things. So it's not going for the bait on this one, but we'll leave the bishop there just in case they want to fashion some sort of attack somewhere again kind of not forcing them but giving them something to think about and they may do it because they feel uncomfortable so i'm going to attack the pawn in the center now it's time to start shaking them up a bit because they're just sitting in the back doing nothing he's taking himself off of the x-ray so he's one of those that's practicing what the masters say is oh, don't take any pieces well i'm taking pieces I'm taking every piece I can take. I'm going to attack the bishop because knights hunt the bishops in our mantra and this bishop doesn't have any protection on it at the minute. They might think the knight's protecting it. No, they're not doing it this time, so fair enough. We could attack their knight. It does kind of bring our pawn over to the far side. Do we really want to do that? Can't do this because he's got two pieces attacking. This knight is going to be moving. I think we want to... Get the queen in, but their bishop's so jammed in, it's unreal. Can we start attacking their king area somehow? I'm going to bring the queen here with the diagonal towards the king. Time's running out. I'm playing it like it's a long play game. Yeah, that knight was always going to be moving, wasn't it? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm actually going to try and open this file. The more we keep the tension, this play we're playing into their game. Which is not taking anything. Surprised the took, but because it's doubled the pawns. Well, yes, uh, eventually the baits came in. Let's bring the bishop here. Fight for owning the file. Although the two bishops really not owning the file with the rooks when you've got them like that. But just for move's sake, I'll just make this because I'm down on time. I'm going to have to move a little bit swift. Anything towards their king area. Move the knight maybe. Is the knight going to get trapped? I think the knight's going to get trapped. Move the bishop. Is the bishop going to get trapped? Everything's going to get trapped. I'm bringing it back. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. 
it might not have done but I don't have time to calculate it just looks like everything would get trapped let's bring this bishop here now the pawns are overextending put a check on the king bishop comes back to put a check on our queen doesn't do that let's get the rook or the knight let's ooh, let's attack this bishop but the pawn's just going to drop so I think we need a flexible knight Thirty four seconds. Still thinking, let's hit. Let's move. Speed, 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 let's attack. Take. Let's attack. Bishop's going to attack the rook. Get ready to move the rook. Yep. Okay. Let's attack. Let's double up. And hit the bishop. Got no time for airs or graces. Attack the pawns. No, oh. Oh, you had a fork. 17 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get in the corner. Get in the corner. Let's take. 14 seconds. And Bishop. I mean, that might have been wrong, you know. Move the king. Move the pawn. I believe that was the wrong move. Got two on there. Oh, and we won on time. That's unlucky. I won't even call that a dirty flag because it wasn't. I was lower on time than they were. Excellent. Nice game.
Let's attack the knight. Let's bring the bishop back. Take. Greedy munching queen. That's got to hurt, ain't it? Greedy munching queen. Right. So what do we have? Bring the knight up. Let's attack. Takes this with a check on the king. Go here. So do all this work and there's going to be a little bit of a gap where we can go and get them mated. Right, so yeah, greedy munching. Happy with that. Let's go here. Yeah, eventually he was coming there all the time. So there's no problems. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. And watch the magic unfold. I like these sort of openings that they do with this crazy aggressive queen thing. Watch the magic unfold right before your very eyes. Bishops obviously go in here because they've got the pin through and they're not doing it just yet, just giving themselves some space for the king to move. And they don't even need to do that, do they? But the next thing that we're interested in doing is just making a little move just like this. Like we said, the bishop's coming here with a check so that he can get the rook. Not doing that. Put the check on the king. Doesn't want to get a repetition done on them. Understandable. As we said that was happening, so that's I'm not very interesting really. Let's put the check on. Put the check on. Put the check on. Put the check on. And put the check on. Put the check on. We'll make a song out of that. Just keep putting the check on. Is there a checkmate? Not really. No. Threefold. Yes, we will go for that. Like I said, interesting when they go blasting around all over the place. They probably could have made it better. They probably did have a win in there. But it just goes to show it is doable when they come with that aggressive type of attack. Okay, last warm up match before we go into the arena. Let's just uh, big take and let's push here. Let's put a check on the king. Let's take the knight off the board. Let's castle. Get this bishop out attacking the knight. Let's develop the knight. Take the queen off of the x ray from the bishop. Uh, takes. Okay, let's bring that through. Bring the knight up attacking their pawn. Here. Alright, so they're not doing that, so we'll go here, but it looks like they're going to get this pawn because the rook's going to come here, or the queen, whichever. So we can bring the knight here just to defend it for a brief moment, and it doesn't stay there for very long, a very brief moment indeed. So let's bring the knight across. At this point here, this is where the problem lies for our player. Let's attack the queen, supporting the knight. Takes, take with the rook. Just thought his knight had a fork then. Knight's defending the pawn at the minute, so do we need to lose any sleep over that? Let's hit the knight. Moves out the way, which is a good sign. Let's push this pawn, just defending itself type thing. Let's attack the rook. 
Let's take the rook off the board. Yep. Let's attack his rook. Let's take. Got a poor majority on this side. They've got a poor majority here. Let's go and bring the king up. Bring the king up. Push this pawn. Now it's not doing anything there. Let's go here. I suppose he may could push the pawn down, couldn't he? Let's go here with the knight. Let's push the pawn. Okay, I'm going to get Zugs wanged here. Right, so ooh, let's... No, shall we save that? He's got this pressure here. He's going to win with his... I'm going to push this pawn first. Then push this. Take. Look to push the pawn maybe. Yeah. Put a check on the king. Move around a bit. Attacking the pawn. He's got a check on our king. Maybe move the king. Yeah. Put a check on the king. Go and attack the pawn. Put a check on the king. And attack the pawn with a check on the king. And free fold. Yes, we'll go with that. Okay, we're not fully warmed, but hey, let's jump in on this arena now. Okay, three minute blitz arena. There's only 17 minutes left of this one. I not even get a game. Oh, we got something. Let's go here. We got a bite. Eighteen hundred. Oh, this is not going to last very long, is it? This is going to be over in twelve moves. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Maybe I should have just taken that bishop then. Hmm, never mind. Yeah, I was thinking I should have just taken it. I've got to check here. <gasps> shocking. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Well, they must have played loads of games, mustn't they? And they're, they're tired now. Because they just rabbited them out. I don't feel like playing anymore now. I think I'm really quite happy with that. Playing against 1800 and styling it out in good style. That'll do for me. See you later.